In late June, Major League Baseball held its first ever draft combine for high school and college players. And among the participants, Jared Pettit, one of the sons of the great Andy Pettit. And Jared, he's with us now. Jared, so great to have you with us. Okay, 2021 marks your first season with Dallas Baptist University, coming over from the University of Houston. Tell us about your season there. Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely an awesome transition. Uh, everything worked out great. <clears throat> we had a really good year, uh, had a lot of talented guys. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, it was everything I could ask for. Uh, the coaching staff there is incredible, and uh, they immediately started to develop me uh, once I got there. So um, there's really – there's nothing I can complain about. I've only had high praises for the University of Houston and high praises for uh, Dallas Baptist University as well. I'm going to ask you now to scout yourself, okay? Really, you look an awful lot like your dad out there. Did people tell you that? Yeah, they do. They definitely do. Um, we definitely pitch very, very similar. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> being lefty, you know, it's it's kind of hard for people not to think that. Um, but I do model a lot of my game after him uh, just because, I mean, I don't throw overly hard. I mean, uh, I mean, I sit like 91 to 94, which is, I mean, believe it or not, nowadays it's like, you know, that's kind of the norm. So um, I really have to rely on command and uh, just kind of the movement on my pitches. What about the pickup move, pickoff move? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I wish I could say I have it, but I don't. I don't <laughs> have it. I mean, being lefty, I can get a couple guys uh, here and there, but for the most part, I, I, I don't have it. He hasn't taught me it. He, just, he said he doesn't know how. Okay, he, it was a God-given gift, he's often said, right? Okay, yeah, exactly. uh, recently you got a chance to show off your skills at the MLB Draft Combine. What was that experience like? It was incredible. I mean, the, the talent of the guys that were there was, was pretty impressive, and uh, just how they, kinda, how they set everything up was, was very impressive. Um, it was a fun thing to be a part of, and I, I just feel very blessed to be able to um, be a part of the first one. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it was great. Just was able to get a couple, couple more eyes on me that maybe didn't see me later in the season. Um, and, but just, yeah, just the way it was set up, everything about it, uh, the, the, the former major league guys that were there, uh, some of the GMs, it was, it was a very cool experience. And there's a really nice video on MLB.com. Have you seen it? I have. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I liked it. I enjoyed that. What about uh, the sons of former major leaguers that are in the big leagues these days? They're plentiful, certainly on the Blue Jays, Fernando Tatis, so many names. What do you feel about the current generation of stars coming up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you said like the Blue Jays have a ton of dudes. Uh, obviously, Kevin Biggio, he's a guy I've known for a long time since our dad played together. Um, so I've known him for a long time. We still keep in touch every now and then. Uh, but I mean, it's awesome. It's it's. Uh, I love the way the game's going. I love where it's headed, and those those uh, those younger guys, um, they're really bringing along a lot of energy, and it's it's fun to watch. I know you're a student of the game, so I want to ask, what are the most valuable lessons you've learned from your father, both on and off the field? I think just being consistently the same person, uh, no matter what your performance was, and. Uh, just kind of how you take care of your business. Just do it very professionally and uh, do everything 110% and do it for the glory of God is what he's always instilled in us. Uh, so that's definitely what I try to do. And I think he's a great guy that uh, modeled that his whole career. Five-time world champ, three-time all-star, and that famous death glare. Have you picked up a little of that? <laughs> I definitely try to, but I, I, don't, I don't think about it too much when I'm out there. I definitely don't want to copy him too much. You know, I kind of want to be be my own guy and uh, kind of go about things my own way as well. But, yeah, I mean, I definitely try to pick up a lot of things that he's done in his career because it obviously worked out well. What about some uh, memories from these teams? It's the Yankees and the Astros tangling this weekend. You must have some early childhood memories from both sides. Yeah, I do. I mean, I think just going to the field, uh, being able to go to the field, hang out in the locker room, uh, be able to talk to the professional guys there. I mean, it's an experience that I'll never take for granted. Um, just because I know how, how rare that is. and um, But, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited. I'm actually going to the game tonight, and so I'll be having my Yankees gear on, and uh, I'll be rooting, rooting for them for sure. Okay, good. I was going to ask, which uni are you going to be wearing? So, good choice. <laughs> how riveted yeah. will you be to the draft? Say that one more time. How riveted will you be to the upcoming draft? 
Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with it, and um, I'm very excited for it. Uh, obviously, um, I kind of had – this was my first full season of being healthy since I've been in college, or not just – not healthy, but just with COVID and all that, this is my first full season. And there was definitely things I learned along the way, um, things I learned about myself. So, overall, I mean, I'm very excited for it. Uh, I would just be very, very grateful and very blessed um, no matter who decides to take me or, or where I go or if I go. So, um, I'm just blessed to be in the position that I am. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for it. Jared, I'm going to speak on behalf of all of us. We are so excited to see you. We certainly wish you all the best. There are generations of Yankees fans cheering you on in a big way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll be watching. Thank you.